It's important to think back to when Millicent Fawcett first collected signatures on that petition back in 1866 and women had no rights at all. They only existed in relation to the men in their lives so they didn't own any property in their own names, they had no rights over their children. So they had a huge mountain to climb back in 1866 when they started on that journey to win voting rights. But they were completely convinced that the right to vote was going to be the thing that was going to open up a lot of those other uh, doors that were closed to them. 62 years altogether before equal voting rights were secured in 1928. But 1918 was an important milestone on the way to that, which is why we're celebrating it. Millicent Fawcett was a great feminist, someone who was incredibly committed to a whole range of causes at the time. She wasn't just fighting for voting rights, although that was really important. She campaigned on a number of fronts, including access to education, for example. And she was a great supporter of other women, and her, you know, her movement was a democratic one. She supported working class women as well as middle class women. She also supported the suffragettes when they started out and raised money to help um, women who'd been in prison, for example. So, you know, she was a great sister, I think, and it's really important that we do remember that about her. Um, but she was also a great politician, too. She was good at uh, negotiating with those in power, she had access to those in power and that ultimately was the thing that enabled her to be the one to negotiate voting rights for women.